told us this week that uh, there's going to be a heavy compete among the guys. That was really what was missing over that losing streak in the crease, what it looked like tonight, how the guys played for you. That was perfect hockey from us. I think um, we completely went away from how we were playing the wrong way on that four-game skid and got right back to what we needed to be doing, and uh, we outworked a pretty good team on that side of the rink. So uh, the game in Brandon, there was a little bit of chirping going on after the game. Same sort of thing tonight, no love lost between these two teams? Not at all. That guy's a meathead and uh, might be a little bit more after he ate three blockers, so maybe he'll learn his lesson. So uh, throughout the night, John agreed with this, that there were stretches of the game where you weren't seeing a lot of rubber, but then all of a sudden you were called upon to make that 10 bell save. Is this one of your best performances over the last month or so? Uh, I'd rank it up there pretty high, yeah. I think um, the last Brandon game I played for sure is ahead of it, but um, yeah, that was a good one. Obviously some pretty quiet uh, stretches there, so um, had to make sure I was in the right place mentally and ready to go. What did it mean to get this first one when you guys are playing four and five nights and just how condensed the schedule is going to be this weekend when points are all to the this crucial this late in the season? Uh, that's a big one. That sets a mood for the rest of the week and to uh, kind of grind one out like that. Um, got a little sketchy there for probably five minutes and then got one back. So to kind of grind that one out and uh, take a lead into the third period and hold it was a big one for us. How is that mindset? You've had a heavy workload the last few games compared to tonight, a lighter workload. <laughs> it was kind of nice for a change a little bit. Um, but no, I don't hate getting a lot of shots. Um, with a heavy workload, sometimes it gets tiring and uh, wears on you mentally a little bit, but uh, I'm not one to back down from anyone, so um, whatever they got for me, I trust myself to handle it well. It seemed like last week, or the back-to-back with Brandon Mays was a couple weeks ago now, uh, that coming out of that, that really almost solidified the group, was like a glue game for you guys. How did it feel in the locker room? Did it really just feel like cohesive in those last four games just didn't happen? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier this week, I think we kind of got away from being a team and got a little selfish, and that goes for on and off the ice. So um, there's parts of this game where you need to be a little bit selfish for yourself, but um, at the end of the day, you got to play for your team and play for the logo, and um, I think we really got back to that tonight. What can you say when this team has a lot of high-octane, high-firepower offensive guys, but then you have a guy like Riley Janelle and Ray Barnett that are going out there at 5'10 every shift and both getting rewarded offensively? Uh, that's awesome for them. I'm so happy for those guys. They're finally getting rewarded. Um, uh, G had a tough one in uh, Med Hattie. He was trying to get us going and uh, ended up getting a stage fight. Not allowed to do that anymore, but um, was trying to get us going, and I respect that. That takes a lot of guts and a lot of mentally to be able to do that, right? So I think uh, those guys just putting their bodies on the line, and they're a big reason why we score so many goals every night. I know we show the score sometimes during the game, but at this time of the year, how focused are you guys looking at the other team and how they're doing on the same night? Uh, I try and stay away from it a little bit. Um, I try not to worry about what everyone else is doing and just worry about my job. So every once in a while I take a peek and realize how close it is, but I try not to focus on it too much. Was that losing streak a little kick in the butt, kind of reminder where you guys are at and how important these next two games are? Uh, yeah, 100%. I think um, it shows we can't get complacent. Uh, I think uh, when you win six in a row that, um, or even any stretch in a row, that kind of becomes a problem where you get complacent. And, think things are going to start coming easy for it and teams are going to roll over, but um, everyone knows they don't. So I think just kind of got away from that and got complacent and we got popped.